Hey guys, Glenn here. When it comes to filament brands, I switch around a lot, always looking for the cheapest, but best and reliable filament that I can find. I always try to update you on which filament I'm using or I'm going to switch to uh, at the current time because prices change wildly, especially right after I do reviews sometimes. And if you're running a print farm or even if you're just doing it a couple rolls at a time, it's very important to get the best pricing for the best material that you can use for your print farm. So I go through probably a hundred rolls a month. So I need to make sure that I'm spending the least amount to make the most amount of profit. I'm going to show you how this filament prints. I'm going to show you the current pricing. And ultimately I'm going to tell you what I think about this product. Now quickly, before we get into the video, our YouTube Etsy shop so far has made $134,300 in revenue, making 8,000 sales. Now, if you like content like this about how to make money with your 3D printer on Etsy, subscribe down below and like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is U-Joy Bio 3D printing filament. They sent me two different filaments to test out. Uh, they asked me which colors I wanted. I just went with a gray because I use a lot of gray. And I also went with a silver, which this silver is actually very neat. I'll show you in detail the color, uh, but it's kind of like a pinkish color to the silver, uh, pinkish hue. Some have a blue hue, some have a purple hue. This one's like a pinkish hue and subtle, but when you compare it to other ones, you can see the, the uh, little bit of like a pink to it. Both are very, very nice filaments. Now, also a very important thing, these filaments will go up to 500 millimeters per second. So most um, 3D printers, you're gonna be just fine. So if you have like a bamboo, for instance, and you're pushing the limits, this should work for you. Now, first, let's go over the current pricing that they have currently right now. If you want to purchase any of these filaments, I'm going to leave links down below. All right, here we are at UJoy Bio's website. Uh, as you can see, if you buy 10 spools um, in, in a box, uh, it'll be $12.49 a spool on their website. That's cheaper than Amazon at the moment. However, they probably fluctuate back and forth like most filament brands. You can see they have a lot of different colors. Um, the Hyper PLA is super fast. Uh, as well as in my in my testing, it's very good. And at least you don't have to risk it. Like um, if, if you use King Rune, for instance, you, like some colors are good, some colors are not usable and you gotta send them back or just eat the eat the loss. Not only is this deal for $12.49 a spool a really good deal, but normal pricing, uh, you can see it's 15 bucks, $14.99 uh, for normal colors. And then you get up to $17.99 for um, the really cool different colors. Then it gets up to $17.99 for all the metallics. Uh, and they also have a deal for $149 if you get 10 different metallics. Um, I don't use too many metallics unless I'm doing something for myself. Uh, usually I try to get flat uh, so, so I don't see the, because I run a 3D print farm uh, for money, for profit. So I need to find a consistent filament that uh, does not show as many imperfections. So the flatter it is, usually the better. Uh, the more shininess, I'll see more imperfections. Uh, but $15 um, or less is a great price point. If you can get it for $12.49, if you need 10 spools, uh, then I'm a buyer all day uh, of this filament because it's a lot better than the $12 filaments, most of them um, on Amazon. And it looks like they're gonna be consistent. Um, you can actually get these products when you need them. Now, these are all the colors of the Hyper PLA filament. Um, I'll scroll down so you can see all the colors. They got orange, they got blue, they got green, they got pretty much everything that you're gonna need red. Um, I would be fine buying at all of these at this pricing. Um, the only thing that I haven't tested the white yet. However, if, if I look at this white, it looks a little off whitish, which may not work for me. I would have to buy it and test it. As far as the metallics, it looks like you got uh, you got black, copper, um, a silver, and also a package deal uh, for you know fifteen dollars a roll for ten of them. That's very good for metallics because metallics are usually a lot more expensive. They also have Elite PLA Plus, which is a dollar more across the board. Um, however, it's all sold out right now, so I'm not even gonna get into that. Now, when we go to Amazon, uh, the prices are some, higher some places and lower in some places. Uh, this is 
This is the gray. Um, it's going to be a little bit more. However, it's free shipping. Um, I always only buy from Amazon just because I have Am Amazon has my back. And if I ever have any issues, I can just send it back. So you can get it for $16.71 at the moment. Uh, this one I tested out, the gray. But you can see, um, let me move my, actually, no, I'm not going to move it. So you can see um, all the colors they have. Uh, I would be able to use every single one of these colors, just the white. I'm not sure. It actually might be a little better for the white to be off white because then it might not show um, any kind of like black specks if you forget to clean your 3D printer or something, uh, which I have an issue with that for sure. So $16.71 if you're doing one time purchase. If you want to subscribe though, it's $15.87, which is a very good deal. They also have black here for $15 all day. That's a buy. Free delivery tomorrow. Um, it's just. You can't beat Amazon. It's it's so nice. Now the silver, which is a really neat silver, is 1956. If you're going to do a subscribe and save, which means you know you get repeat deliveries of it, um, or if you want a one-time purchase, twenty dollars and fifty-nine cents. So I don't know if these prices are going to stay. Probably not. Prices always fluctuate for me. Whenever I get into a filament roll brand, uh, hardcore, and I start pushing it on my channel. It just seems like the price just always goes up. <laughs> now you can also get the copper uh, at the same price. Uh, the metallic black is a little cheaper. This is only $18.53 uh, if you do one-time purchase and $17.60 for the subscribe and save. And they also have a titanium gray, which actually looks pretty cool if you want a darker silver. This is $20.59 one-time purchase and $19.56 if you subscribe and save. So this one I'm probably gonna buy soon and test it out because this is really cool. Um, I, that's like a really nice color right there. Now I'm gonna show you um, how these things print and exactly um, the imperfections that they have or no imperfections they have. I'm gonna zoom up close to these and get as best detail as possible. Now I did a Cali Dragon, which this will show you the small perimeters, the stringing, the overhangs, the details smoothness, how smooth it can get, and then also if there's potential ghosting. The other test, I did this 3D printer uh, benchmark um, for both colors, uh, which shows all of these things just in a different way uh, so you can see it a little bit more clearly. I'm always trying to bring you guys the best 3D printing filament that I possibly can that I use in my print farm or will be willing to use in my 3D print farm. And I'm curious, what 3D print filaments do you guys want me to test next and which ones do you use? Have you ever used Ujoy Bio? Let me know down below. And if you have any questions, I usually answer every question that I can. All right, first up is the Cali Dragon Gray by Ujoy Bio. Now I printed this in 0.2 millimeter layer height along with everything else. So um, just for a guide, it's not super, super fine. It's what I print almost everything in is 0.2. And you can see there's not really much stringing. Not really any ghosting. It's uh, very, very nice. You can see the fine detail on the bottom there in the belly. It's actually uh, a very, very well performing filament. Uh, maybe one of the best that I've had so far. Now on the 3D printer bench test, you can see the detail here in the words. Pretty detailed, not much stringing again. The overhangs, as you can see, uh, fared pretty well better than most in my opinion. You can see here um, the bridging, a little bit of flex there. Um, just in the biggest one, the rest of them, uh, there is no flex. It might be kind of hard to see on the camera, but there is no, there's almost no flex. Uh, this is the only one. These don't have any flex, but there's flex in this one, uh, which I mean, that's an incredible bridging test right there. Uh, a, a lot more would sag. And now for the silver, the silver did not fare as well. It's um, a little bit stringy, I guess. A little messed up up there near the horns. Um, but I mean, most of these that I do are, are like crazy stringy, especially anything that's silk or metallic. I'll show you all the way around it. In my opinion, very good results for a metallic or a silk filament. You can see a lot of detail in the belly there. Printed very, very well. I am definitely happy with this filament. And now for the 3D printer test. You can see the detail here. Not too shabby. A little bit of stringing. Less than, not as much as most. The bridging, very good bridging. 
only this one's sagging a little bit. In fact, it's probably sagging a little bit. It's definitely sagging a little bit less than the gray. There are the words. Not too shabby, just a little stringy. However, I do leave all my filaments out for a couple weeks to a month before I test just to make sure that it's not super hydroscopic and it won't print very well after it's been left out a little bit. Because that is definitely an important fact to me. So there you have it. That's Ujoy Bio 3D Printing Filament. Um, it, the, the results you can see for yourself, very good results, very good price point. I appreciate Ujoy Bio for sending me these. I always love testing out new filaments to add to my lineup. If you want to purchase any of these, links are down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you like content like this or making money with your 3D printer. You guys have a good day.